Transportation Pavilion will show how man has progressed through time in direct relation to his ability to move from one location to another. Visitors will see man's earliest and most humble designs grow and change as he reaches out to explore the world around him. They'll be treated to simulated trips aboard some of today's modes of transportation and have a glimpse at future transportation systems. Then, a hands-on involvement with working prototypes of tomorrow's vehicles.
Your vehicle doors close automatically. Please keep your hands and arms inside your vehicle and remain seated while traveling. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wonderful world of motion. General Motors now invites you to travel the open road, to discover that when it comes to transportation, it's always fun to be free. Throughout the ages, we have searched for freedom to move from one place to another. In the beginning, of course, there was foot power. But with our first wandering steps, we quickly discover the need to improve our basic transportation. After years of stumbling around, we launch a new idea. Our first safe highway, water. friends give us new freedom and we test drive many new models Revolutionary turn of events. The wheel. Now things really get rolling. It's fun to be free. found freedom, empires expand, cultures flourish, trade and commerce grow.
This is beauteous medicine. Load me extra. Power reigns. Marble floorboard. With proud new ships, we sail forth in search of new worlds, undaunted by age-old myths and silly superstitions. The age of the Renaissance. Great minds are turning from works of art to flights of fancy. Hot air to the power of steam. Now nothing stands in the way of progress on the open road. Great boilers of steam change our sails to paddle wheels. Beyond the Mississippi, passengers enjoy the scenic west with the freedom and adventure of the open road. Another kind of horse arrives, a steam-powered iron horse bringing fast, dependable, safe travel to the new frontier. Keep your hands up. This means you. This is called passing the hat. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come the peaceful countryside. What more romantic way to enjoy it than with that infallible combination of man and machine, the bicycle. Open Road brings us a new wonder, a carriage 
without a horse. Yes, with the horseless carriage, we thunder full speed into the 20th century. tradition, the Sunday Drive. Now we quickly get away from it all to the beautiful, carefree countryside. heroes of the wild blue yonder. Now the sky's the limit. Mobility is the byword of modern transportation. A way to move from here to there for every need and every care. Now it's really fun to be free.
Yes, our world has indeed become a world of motion. We have engineered marvels that take us swiftly over land and sea, through the air, and into space itself. And still bolder and better ideas are yet to come. Ideas that will fulfill our age-old dream to be free. Free in mind, free in spirit, free to follow the distant star of our ancestors to a brighter tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, General Motors now invites you to share the challenge of the future. We need you to help us shape tomorrow's mobility. Just ahead is General Motors' exciting trans -setting. Join us behind the scenes, where we are working to ensure that tomorrow's world will continue to be a world of motion. Your vehicle doors will slide open automatically. Please gather your belongings and step out to your right. Your vehicle and the moving platform are traveling at equal speed. Your vehicle doors will slide open automatically. Please collect your belongings and step out to your right. The moving platform is traveling at the same speed as your vehicle. Everyone knows that aerodynamics are important for airplanes, birds, and other flying objects. The same is true on the ground. At low speeds, aerodynamic drag has little effect, other than to generate a pleasant breeze. However, as speed increases, the blunt frontal surface acts as a plow, pushing the air ahead. Meanwhile, the rear surface creates a swirling suction which tries to pull the vehicle back. Thus pulling and pushing the air, the engine must work very hard to keep the vehicle going. This engine is obviously working at maximum power, yet air resistance limits its speed. However, 
assuming a more aerodynamic shape reduces the aerodynamic resistance and higher speeds are obtainable with the same amount of energy. At highway speeds, a car uses up to 65% of its energy just pushing its way through the air. That means that out of every tank of gas, over 65% is gone with the wind. But some of this can be recovered by improving the aerodynamics of the design. That's one reason why scientists and designers at General Motors use wind tunnel research, testing, altering, and refining their designs, discovering new ways to lower your drag factor and increase your mileage. Look at him go! Perfect! 
This one graduates with honors. But the best part about it is, these guys paint them perfect every time. And look at this guy. He's no dummy. Let the robot be out there in the smelly paint fumes. This guy's got air conditioning. Look at that reach. With arms like that. Maybe you can get him into basketball. That's it. I'll sign him to a contract and retire for life. Pure poetry in motion. Now it's time for the cultured portion of our show. A great belief in culture. So now it is my privilege to present. Remember, I taught him everything he knows. Tiger conducting the Detroit Phil Robotic Orchestra. Maestro. <laughs> gentlemen, General Motors presents the engine of the future. This is the engine of the future. It can be tuned to run on gasoline, diesel, alcohol. It's a good old reliable internal combustion engine. Much like what all you got in your cars today. It's you gotta be kidding. That old thing. But it keeps on advancing, improving, getting better every day. Why it's no listen to him folks. This here's the engine of the future. The turbine engine. Now a turbine can run on gasoline, diesel, or alcohol too. But this baby runs on coal. Good old 100% American coal. You grind it up and the hot air turns the fan, which turns the wheels. Yes sir, it's the coal-fired turbine engine. The engine of the future. Well now. Come on, give me a break. Coal went out with a steam train. Tried an electric. It's environmental. Clean. Quiet. Ha! Where do you plug it in? You haven't heard of batteries? And just how far will batteries take you? They'll get you to the store and back, and then you charge it up. A mere child's toy. Now, this engine, you never have to recharge or refuel because the engine isn't in the car, it's in the road. It's electromagnet power. Magnets attract. Or if you reverse the polarity, they repel. Embed them in the road. Then, magnetic levitation on. Linear accelerators on. Never stop for fuel again. But what if you want to go where there's no magnets in the road? Uh, well, you need another engine. <laughs> this is the engine of the future, the flywheel. Give it a good spin up and it goes a long way. A bigger flywheel could make the wheel go around for a long time. And just what do you do when it slows down? You pull it into my spinning station and ask for a spin up. All right, listen up. What you got here? Hey, that's mine. Is a sprinter. Quick off the blocks, but it fades fast. Now over here, what the? You got a marathon runner. Long on endurance, but short on the zip. But put them together and whoa, we got ourselves a team. Perché non metti l'elettricità con la turbina? Così la turbina sta sempre caricando l'accumulatore. E questo è proprio genio. What do you say? 
Hold up. Whoa! You're all forgetting. Big shortages are coming. Feel it in my corns. We're gonna run plumb out of oil and gas and everything. Then what? I'll show you. It's called the horse. See, you put the oats in this and in the milk. Silence! This is all very amusing. But you see, my engine is the engine of the future. I call it the water engine. This water runs on water. You see, water is H2O. And I use nuclear energy to separate the hydrogen from the oxygen. And I keep my hydrogen at 252 degrees below zero to keep it under control. Then I burn the hydrogen. I say I burn the hydrogen. Come on. It works, I tell you. You can build your own funny $12 million. Of course, you'll need a dozen technicians to keep it running for you. But it does run on water, meaning hydrogen and, oh yes, a bit of oxygen. Best of all, the exhaust is water vapor. So you see, I've solved the pollution problem too. Well, that's almighty impressive. You're purely amazing. But seems to me you've each still got a ways to go before you'll replace the modern, reliable internal combustion. Well, what do you want, a miracle? We are working on it. Well, good. You go right on working, and more power to you. Because when yours is better, I'll be the first one to push mine aside and buy one of yours. You see, folks, General Motors believes every potential engine of the future should be in competition with all the others. That way, it's your needs, your preferences, and your pocketbook that really determine the engine of the future. Anywhere, we'll 
able to be on the moon, to travel with these or whatever you please do, 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 do all there is to be done. It's fun to be free. It's fun to be free, to be on the moon, to go for a hike or whatever you like to do. Taken us a long way. Now it's really fun to be free. Our 
our freedom has allowed us to create engineering marvels. Marvels that today carry us over land, sea, and through the air. Now we embark on still another exciting adventure. What new challenges await us on The Road to the Future?